before we get into the video, make sure you like and subscribe. Trust me, it's in your best interest. I have my trusty Lacombe cold brew here and it is absolutely delicious because it's so strong right now and that's exactly what I need. Mm. Okay. So we are talking about the exact steps you need to be taking if you've never been to the gym before. I'm gonna make you feel like the most confident person in the world with these eight easy steps. So a little bit of a background about me. I started going to the gym at the age of 19 and I felt super, super awkward. So I started going to the gym like three times a week with my boyfriend because my boyfriend was going and I would just stick to the treadmills and you know, they were great, but my boyfriend was like, hey, like come over to where the actual, you know, magic happens, where all of the, you know, muscles and the toning happens. No hate to cardio because I still am such a horror for cardio. I do it for 30 minutes right before my workout. So he was really trying to get me into going to the weight section. But as you know, since you clicked on this video, going to the weight section can feel incredibly awkward, intimidating, and uncomfortable. So I'm gonna be telling you my tips. These are the exact tips that I did. And I went from feeling literally like I could barely even step inside of a gym to like giving dirties to the muscle bros like stop staring at me like this is my space like what are you even doing here you know i'm gonna get you to that point as well so let's go so step number one i'm gonna get you to start going and doing cardio now i know this is completely the opposite of what i just said but stick with me here if you go to the cardio section for even a year which is a big chunk of time you're going to mentally just get into the repetition of going to the gym getting ready going there driving there whatever stepping inside of the gym and it's going to rewire your neural pathways because you've never been to the gym before and now all of a sudden you're going and you're breaking that habit number one that's super important number two I literally still do this because I don't always feel like going to the gym but as I'm stepping in it's not like I'm raw dogging it and going straight into the weight section I'm telling myself you know what I'm going into just the stairmaster and that's all I have to do for now and as I'm there I'm watching people work out I'm getting motivated inspired I'm feeling it, I'm like getting more comfortable in my skin when I'm at the gym and I'm like thinking of workouts in my head but you don't even have to worry about any of that. Literally your job for three months to 12 months, depending, I mean you don't, you can skip this step, step but this is what worked for me, this is what I did literally for like three to six months, uh, is just step into the gym and go on the treadmill or the Stairmaster for 30 minutes, that's all you have to do and that is your prescription from me to you three times a week. Three times a week, that's all you have to do. You go on YouTube, watch my workout. Here's a card for that. And you are literally gonna feel so much better. And you can literally do this for a year and then come back to this video. I mean, watch it all the way through, but then come back and like, when you're ready, when you're mentally ready to step in and branch out a little bit. It is the first day of spring, you guys, 21st of March, and all the cherry blossoms are coming out. I'm so excited. First day of airy season. I'm wired up on my Lacombe. I've had like three to four copies today. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling good. And this is the true first day of the year, you guys, because every season, it's like the baby zodiac of the year. It's a whole rebirth, all right. So after this, you can still keep going and doing cardio, but now your job is to go onto every single machine. Well, not every single machine. I haven't tried every single machine in my gym. But like the, th the things that most people do, I would go on YouTube and YouTube Robin Clant, Whitney Simmons, Nikki Blackheader. I mean, I'm sure there's other different YouTubers out there, but that's who helped me in that time around that moment where I was like really needing inspiration. I'm really loving Diana Ruiz. Um, apologies if I mispronounce your last name, but she's amazing and she has re-inspired me actually to go to the gym again and be more consistent, you know, have that inspiration. And then number two, all the machines that they do literally go and do them. So this is what I did. I went at nighttime. So if you want to go at nighttime, that really helps because there's less people. You could like read the machines and I still like read the machines. Like it's totally fine. If you're doing leg day, do five leg machines after your cardio. If you're doing arm day, do five arm machines after cardio and that is your job for the next three months. Do you see the pattern here that we're slowly kind of getting you up towards the highly coveted 
uh, free weight section <laughs> because the free weight section honestly is where all of the magic happens in my opinion and in the opinions of many others that are regular at the gym but there is a time and a place for cardio and machines as well and I love mixing the three but really those compound deadlifts and those compound squats and the hip thrusts are just is what makes the gym. Anyways, go on TikTok, go on Instagram, go on YouTube, but literally even look at like the hot girl like standing next to you, like what is she doing? Try every machine that you see at the gym and you feel comfortable doing. You're always gonna have a level of feeling uncomfortable. That's just what happens when you're leveling up. Of course you're gonna feel uncomfortable, but it's about pushing yourself and it doesn't have to be throwing yourself into the deep end like I'm showing you with this video. Okay, literally after that, you're gonna want to go on the cardio section and then do two to three machines after you've done those two steps. Go ahead and save two workouts for compound exercises and this is where we're going into the free weight section. Now, the easiest thing for me was kind of going from like squat presses to squats because it was essentially squats but you like sit down with a machine and then you can kind of go into like squatting and you can go into the smith machine which is like essentially a glorified like squat press but you're standing like it's not like it's an actual free weighted form squat rack like it's regulated so it's really easy if you're doing compound exercises find the ones that look like something that you kind of feel comfortable to do like you're not like completely confident in doing it but you're like it's easier to do than like a deadlift where you know a deadlift kind of sounds scary but it's really really not I don't want to push you into like doing hip thrusts straight away right in the middle of like the free weight section at 5 p.m. on a Monday afternoon of course not you're gonna get there girl but not yet <laughs> I guess step number four is literally just go on for example Diana Ruiz she has her booty workout you know routine and click one video that looks like it's inspiring for you and literally just follow the five workouts that she does and then kind of mentally learn your head what felt good for my body what didn't feel so good for my body and then move on so your next gym session when you're doing legs and booty you can do another one of her videos or you can do Whitney Simmons or a workout on TikTok do you know what I mean and then as you go along you'll start to see patterns like a lot of people do the same exercises because that's what works some exercises you're going to absolutely hate and there's going to be kind of like so there's a difference right all exercises it's not like when you're doing them it feels so amazing like of course it feels like you're being tortured that's the point but for like how your body was made this is just like my theory some exercises literally feel like you're dying like you would literally never want to step into the gym again those exercises like try every single exercise and see what like feels like this or what feels like what I'm gonna say next for example push-ups oh my god I tried personal training for the first time and she made me do push-ups and I'm like never again I can do planks till the live long day but but gram push-ups, I'm like, I would literally never step into the gym again if you have to make me do these every single time I go into the gym. Absolutely not. And then another example is during like 2017, 2018, the cable pushbacks was like a huge thing. I would go to the gym with my friend and she would always try to make me do them. And I'm like, I tried them. I tried them multiple times because she loves them. And I was like, this is not for me. I feel awkward. It's too free form for my legs. Like I like a good standing, like free weight where I'm like bending down like I love a good deadlift but cable kickbacks absolutely not I would rather have a soggy sloppy butt but you know not have to do those ever again do you know what I mean and this is like an umbrella thing for everything if you're not the type of person that like doesn't like I'm saying try but like if you feel continual and you when you know you know you know what I'm saying if I have to do an exercise the deadlifts and the squats and hip thrusts and all of those freeform machines are something that, you know, I would rather do than doing yoga, a yoga class. I mean, I love yoga. That was just an example, like no hate to yoga, but like, I don't want to run on the street. I would literally rather be unhealthy and like, if the gym didn't exist, like I would literally never run in my life. Absolutely not. It's about finding out what is comfortable and the same reflects back in the actual gym. So try every single exercise, all the TikTok ones, all the Instagram ones, all the YouTube ones, all the ones that you see. Like if you want to do a personal trainer, if you want to hire someone out, I just don't want you doing it when you've never been to the gym before and it's like you're going to get a personal trainer and you're going to base all of your like health and your body onto that personal trainer because that personal trainer just knows what that personal trainer knows. Personal training 
everything in the gym is so abstract like there's like specific exercises that everyone does day in and day out but it's like everyone has their own theories on how to do something like for example it's like some people say you need a clench on the way up some people are so like passionate and saying that you don't need a clench on the way up when you're doing deadlifts and squats and all of that if you do want to do personal training i would just say keep an open mind and don't rely like absolutely everything onto a personal trainer i live in new york and i apologize for all of the beeping <laughs> Yes. So tip number five is literally pretend like you are the most confident person ever. You have to look like you know what you're doing, even though you don't know what you're doing at all but walk in there if you feel unconfident about your form and that people are like staring at you at the gym <laughs> some of y'all probably are like new fear unlocked i didn't even think about that but like that is really something to be cognizant of but it's like whatever workout you're doing whatever exercise you're doing go on youtube see what the form is if you're still kind of worried like still like be confident and like kind of just do it you know do it Thank you, I know. Just be confident in yourself and people are probably gonna be like, oh, is this like some kind of form that I've never seen? Like being, make sure you're doing things correctly, but like don't let it stop you, you're practicing. Even if maybe your form isn't correct or you feel like you look like you're st like being stupid or whatever, or you look stupid. If you look like you know what you're doing, people will leave you alone. This is like the best comparison. Filming, right? When I first filmed in public, I felt so awkward. And when you feel awkward, people can feel that, people can sense that. People will look more, people will question you more. Whereas if you're like, I literally have an itinerary straight from the New York government. They have assigned me to go on the streets of New York right now and film. If you go in with that attitude, no one's gonna be looking at you, no one's gonna be caring. So go and do you, like this is your freaking life. Who cares about people staring at you? You are literally taking care of your health. You're taking care of your body. How dare someone think about you be what stops you from your health, from your future. And another thing, even if someone looks like they're new, I have so much respect for them and I literally am so inspired. Like new people at the gym inspire me, someone who has been at the gym for a really long time because it's something really nice about the fact that someone is trying. I love when people try and they're doing something new and that literally just snaps me back into like, bitch, like remember where you came from. It inspires you because you're like, I was at that point. Like people remember that they were also at that point and you're going to be in that position very shortly if you keep practicing and going consistently. But if you're not consistent, do not beat yourself up up about it every single moment is a brand new chance to be the best version of you be the best higher self that you possibly can be and with that i'm gonna go i really hope that this uh inspired you i really really wish i had this information like no one told me the way that i just told you guys about everything like it would have helped me so much so you guys have no excuse now not to go to the gym just try it do it i believe in you love you guys and i'll see you in the next one Bye.